How to use Zendesk for customer service. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Zendesk for customer service. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is to open your browser and kind of go to Zendesk.com. Or you can simply click the link on the description below. And you will be directed on this page in which from here, it will show you the details about this platform. And if you don't know Zendesk, it is a customer service software company that provides a cloud-based customer support and engagement platform. In which Zendesk platform is designed to help businesses manage and improve their customer interactions across various channels, including email, chat, phone, social media, and many more. And to get started using this platform, just go back to this page and from here just enter your email address and proceed by clicking start your free trial. And after entering your email address and clicking the start free trial button, you will be directed on this page and from here you also need to enter your first name and other personal information. And after that just proceed by clicking the next button below. And for the next step is to enter your last name then proceed by clicking the next button again. And after that, you also need to enter your phone number and also the company do you work for. So let's say from here, I'm going to enter YouTube. Then proceed by clicking the next button below. And after that, just answer the question, how many employees are there at YouTube? So you can select your answer below. And after that, you also need to choose your language and for the last step is to create your own password. And after generating your own password, just proceed by clicking the complete trial sign up button below. And after that, as you can see, your free trial has now been setting up. And now the next thing that you need to do is to verify your email address by going to your email inboxes. And from here, just select the email that has been sent by Sendesk and proceed by clicking the verify your account button and upon clicking on it you will be directed on this page in which to improve your trial experience you could also select some of the answers to their question or alternatively you can just proceed by clicking no text button below and after that you will be directed on this dashboard of Zendesk and under the home page you will see here the get started section and the dashboard in which below get started you will see here the overview of your account. You could also access the ticketing system and many more. While under the dashboard section, you will see here the number of open tickets, the ticket is statistics, ticket requiring your attention, and many more. In which each ticket will see the ticket status, ticket ID, subject, requester, requester update, group, and their assignee. And below is the sample ticket. And in order to add new ticket, just proceed by clicking the add button on the top left corner. In which from here, you can add ticket, user, organization, search, and also see the recently viewed tickets. And in those options, I'm going to proceed by clicking the ticket option. And from here, you will see on the left side panel, some of the things that you need to fill out including the requester or the contact info of requester. For example, I'm going to enter here the name of the requester, John Legend. Or you can also add user if you want more than one requester. So from here, all you need to do is to enter the name of the user and their email address. And below, you also need to select either end user or staff member. And after that, just proceed by clicking the add button below. And after that, the next thing that you need to do is to enter your assignee and also your followers if you have one but that is just only optional now moving on to the tag section from here you can enter the tag that you prefer let's say i'm going to enter urgent important and below you also need to select the type either question incident problem or task while the priority you can select either low normal high or urgent and after filling out the required information on the left side panel, the next thing that you need to do is to fill out the subject line on the right side panel. So from here, you could enter anything that you want to serve 
as your subject line, and I'm going to enter concern about signing up. Since Sendesk core feature is its ticketing system, which allow businesses to create, track, and manage customer support requests. And now below is the body part of your ticket requests, in which below here you could also state the problem or concern that you want to resolve. In which below the body letter, you will see here the other option that you could also navigate to customize your text or even to import a media files from your computer, such as video, file, or images. And after that, just proceed by clicking the Submit as New button below. So that is just how you can submit ticket about your concern to their customer service. However, we're not going to send or submit this ticket. And now going back to this page, if you submitted a ticket or concern to their customer service, you will see the ticket in here, in which you will see here your ticket the status, the subject that you enter, the name of the requester, the requested, and type or even the priority. And aside from that, if you want to submit a ticket or a multiple tickets that include your concern, just proceed by doing the same process. And after that, from here, you will see different kind of tab of your new ticket. And to add new ticket, just proceed by clicking the next tab, Add. And after that, you have now the different kind of ticket that you can submit to their customer service. However, if you want to add organization, just click the organization option and you will be directed on this page. And from here, just enter the organization that you want to add. So let's say I'm going to enter Amazon. And below, you also need to enter the domains of the organization that you choose and proceed by clicking the add button below. And after that, you will be directed in here, in which on this tab, you will see the organization of Amazon, in which you could also track the number of tickets on your organization, the user number, and the related option under the organization Amazon, in which you could also see here the ticket status, ID, subject, requester, requested, the update, group, and your assignee. And aside from those options, you could also navigate the other options on the left side panel, such as these views in which you will see here or you can track the number of unsolved tickets, unassigned tickets, the pending tickets, recently solved tickets, suspended tickets, and even the deleted tickets. And aside from that, by selecting the tickets or checking these boxes right here, it will show you the other options below that you can navigate, including to edit, merge, mark as spam, or even delete this kind of ticket. And aside from that, by clicking the customer option right here on the left side panel, you will see here the list of your customer, which include their email address, tags, and even their time zone. Well, by clicking the organization option, you will basically see here all of the organization that you just add. And as you can see, we have here Amazon and YouTube. While under the reporting option, from here you will see the analytics for businesses to measure and improve the entire customer experience, including to navigate the Sendesk support, Sendesk guide, and Sendesk talk. And aside from that, under the setting option, you will see here some of the system updates, the number of feature usage, and any kind of announcement. So that is just how you can use Sendesk for customer service. Thank you.